What's up guys, TechRax here, I got the Galaxy S8 Plus to the left of me, the iPhone 7 Plus to the right, and today we're going to be conducting the ultimate fire test. Simple test guys, we're going to be putting both phones in flames for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'm going to see exactly what part of each phone works, what doesn't. If both phones proceed to work, I'm going to keep them in more flames for another 30 seconds until one of the phones completely die off. This is going to be very interesting just to see the ultimate resistance from fire in both of these phones. You know, which phone can handle the flames. So without any further ado, guys, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is pour some gasoline on both smartphones. I'm going to try and get the same amount uh, on both phones. But, you know, it may not be that easy. But trust me, guys, both phones will be covered in gasoline. So I'm not trying to favor one phone or the other. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and do it. And both phones, just like that, are on fire. So 30 seconds. I think my camera is on fire, too, right now. So I'm going to back out a little bit whoa the galaxy s8 plus is absolutely turning into a glowing yellow monster that is incredible guys and we gotta light it off 30 seconds might have already done it man i think that got them both toasted i think i should have tried like 10 seconds um but of course this wasn't the red iphone 7 so obviously it's not fire resistant but let's go ahead and just, first of all, whew, these phones are hot. Take them to the hand. I mean, they cooled down really quick. But wow, both with the glowing uh, yellow display. So I could still see the clock on the S8 Plus, which means, if I'm not mistaken, nope. Let's see if I... Oh, there we go. Look at that. No way. Swipe. So the only issue is the mechanism where you swipe doesn't work on the S8 Plus. Because I can't exactly swipe. It won't let me do it. Um, but there you go. Look, the iPhone just turned on as well. I can see the time, the clock, touch ID. Uh, unable to activate touch ID. That's what I see on the phone. Um, so, wow, that's a bummer because I can't bypass the, the little screen then. Well, that just sucks, because both phones are practically in working order, but the damage to the LCD is pretty much making me unable to do anything. Let's go ahead and just uh, toast them up for fun. There we go. It's a little bit more fire. I like that. So after giving both of these phones about four rounds of fire, over two minutes in flames, they're still both in the same condition. I'm going to have to call it a fair game because I could still see the clock on the S8 Plus. If I turn it off and on right here, everything responds. And same thing with the iPhone 7 Plus. If I hit that power button, you could see a little bit of light come into the left side. It's a bit harder to see, but... You could still tell the internals are in fully working order. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. Yeah, I cracked it open. So I was able to do that because there was a small little crevice. And there you go, you can see the crevice now. And you can see the beautiful battery. Um, iPhone, I don't think I can do that, so it's still sealed pretty tight in there. Uh, but that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos, and peace out.